The former senator uh, from Kansas, Bob Dole, ran for president himself. I would imagine that uh, during the 80s uh, and even earlier than that and during the 90s when I covered it, right. because I was at Fox in Kansas City when Bob Dole was running, uh, that all of these men were looking forward to the future and helping each other on trying to find the footing to win. And they did. And, and obviously following Ronald Reagan, uh, who was a giant figure, uh, was always difficult. But an added uh, added difficulty for Bush was that he was running against the first woman uh, vice presidential candidate, uh, uh, Geraldine Ferraro, in 1984. Let's pause for just a moment and talk about what we see in this picture, because with your history at Rollins, I, I want to get your perspective, uh, Bob Dole there, uh, paying his respects to George H.W. Bush. A truly great war hero, uh, um, not that they all didn't serve effectively, but, but Dole, Dole was, you know, basically hospitalized for two years, totally crippled, uh, came back, uh, kind of came up through politics from, like, being a local DA to what have you, and they ran against each other in 1988. Uh, uh, and there'd been some uh, rivalry there. Uh, Dole had been the national chairman, just as uh, as, as Bush had, who succeeded him. Uh, and I think, to a certain extent, uh, uh, there was a little pushing and shoving. But I think, at the end of the day, they both had great respect for each other and both served the country ably. By the time uh, I had covered him in in the 90s, uh, Bob Dole had become one of those figures in the Republican Party where, yes, he's running for president, but certainly uh, a huge voice. Oh, in the party at, at, at that point, and we see him paying respects to the former president as George H.W. Bush lies in uh, the rotunda right now. And uh, we have Ed Rollins here, and you had many conversations with President Bush at that time. What were they like? Uh, well, he, he, was, he was a very uh, generous man with his time and his friendship. Uh, you could take the, th the 31 NFL football stadiums across the country and fill them uh, with uh, his friends. Uh, he, he had friends everywhere, and he was a tremendous friend himself. Uh, he, he wrote notes. He did all the little things that you do as uh, if you're a courteous man, and he really was. Uh, very few enemies in the political system, uh, in which he'd been in for a very, very long period of time.